Hello and welcome back my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue and tonight we have quite a show. First thing in line is that Megan's contract renewal or not with WME, the agency who was forced by Serena Williams to work with the Duchess. That contract is about to end since it was signed on April of last year and in my opinion over this year Anyone related to Megan has had more exposure and cloud building than her. Which, which is a shame because I thought these guys were professionals. They could have even created a vanity website for her, but nope, they didn't. Uh, the, the question is, if Megan is downgrading in all these fields, such as Spotify to Lemonada, then it's our best guess that there will be a downgrade from being represented by WME to, I don't know, opening a blog on Tumblr. Nothing against Tumblr blogs, they, they can be fun. That must be the reason that we are facing the boldest claims even in ever in the Montecitoverse. Meghan Markle was set to be Daniel Craig's next Bond girl before Chance was blown. Now, I, I'm going to have a not that controversial opinion this time. It's well known that James Bond's films have declined in quality and the character is nowhere near the original Inception. Daniel Craig is not to blame, or at least that much to blame, since he can go only uh, where the script goes. But if you think of the loss of value of a brand, then it would not be that surprising that Megan could have been part of that train wreck. I, I mean, at this point of pop culture, I am ready for pretty much anything. And so is Megan. Because Methane's life has become the most outrageous script of our generation. Look, Megan Markle whispered, don't I have a voice under her breath at royal event, source claims. And at first I thought that this was a voice problem like in the Little Mermaid. Uh, no, 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 sorry, this Little Mermaid. But, but no, I mean that I thought that Megan was complaining that she didn't have a voice in the royal family. But you know that recollections had to be more poetic. And that's why the actual phrase was more poetic. Don't I have a voice? I usually don't cite royal authors, but in this case, I will make an exception. Because, because Sarah Sands wrote, Megan's ordeal in Britain was, to her mind, the subjugation of her voice. I wonder which other ways her voice was subjugated in the past. But this was something bound to happen. But it seems that nowadays everyone wants to jump on the body language bandwagon. And that's why we got this. Meghan Markle's interactions with Prince Harry, quite unusual. Duchess of Sausages body language has been analyzed by an award-winning photographer. Hmm. So it was the guy who took this picture and he said it was very noticeable when Megan came on the scene just how tactile she was like holding the Duke's hand and being arm in arm. So that was quite unusual. Yeah, I know. Where are you going? You want to say that the Royals never had this uh, kind of displays and Megan was or is uh, much more natural, right? I guess that being tactile is also signaling Harry to move along all the time. But what do I know? But it so happens that Meghan has decided to go full woke. Meghan Markle to headline South by Southwest opening day with Katie Couric and Brooke Shields. Oh my god, look at this. Uh, Meghan, the Duchess of Sausages, otherwise known as Meghan Markle. Whoa, that, that's almost a Game of Thrones introduction. Maybe she's rebranding back to her name and last name. But well, South by Southwest panel will address women's representation in media and entertainment. Quote, which has come a long way, but there's still much to be done, especially for women of color and mothers. And the impact of social media on the mental health of teenage girls in particular. I mean... That's a great topic and a nice crossover for my scene surgeon channel. Megan fighting for women's representation in movies and TV shows. And requests to know something, anything about Catherine have reached new levels of craziness. 
And now there are claims that the entire royal family is away. Zero royal duties, which is simply not true. But you know how misinformation works. And that's something that Harry, the king of misinformation, would be delighted to explain if it wasn't that he's got his head up his... Well, you get the idea. But I understand William's stance. And now I can understand the king's stance as well as to simply don't acknowledge people's demands for information. They are doing what they have to do the best way they can. And yes, some anti-monarchists would laugh at such an affirmation, which, of course, it's mine. Uh, mine. I, I just said it. But the anti-monarchists are not precisely William's audience if we are talking technically. Because if I have learned something or anything from having a presence on the internet, and especially an X account, is that you would never be able to please anyone, no matter what you do. Maybe you are working for everybody, as in everybody can benefit from your work. And in the case of William, one day he will be the king of everyone, not only the monarchists, but also the anti-monarchists. So, best thing he can do is to keep an eye on the long term, on that ultimate goal, and dismiss all the toxic criticism and just focus on the fair criticism. Because I'm sure that he makes sure to evaluate his own actions and adjust the curse. But if all, all else fails, well, he can just close the laptop and not read the headlines. And I'm sure you already saw them, but there are some pictures of Catherine being distributed by TMZ. Yes, I'm aware they exist, but no, I am not going to share them. William and Catherine ask for privacy. Until the next time she appears in official terms, so my philosophy is to respect that. And it's funny how some people call me biased about this topic. How I act with William and Catherine in some way and act differently with, um, let's say, other people. I have zero problem in admitting that. When it comes to royal coverage, I'm biased towards the royal family, especially William and Catherine. I think this way my rogues know what to expect from me, as I have mentioned a couple times. What would William and Catherine do? That's a good start. And since Harry was complaining over and over and again that the terms of the Sandringham Agreement force him to take public transport, Without security. Well, some pictures from different moments of the royal family have surfaced, and I don't know how long ago these pictures were taken. And I wouldn't say that the literal, literal Queen of England was aboard the tube without security, which would have been outrageous. But this is just an example that Harry's claims have been grossly exaggerated, to, to say the least. Again, I don't know if the royals can still afford to travel like this. I mean, I read things about London all the time on X, and I, I would like to think that it's still a lovely place to visit. And you could even bump with some royals, but uh, you're welcome to burst my bubble. But, my royal rogues, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the royal rogue, and remember, much love and bliss.